Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We give God all the glory. Let God be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. God says I should tell somebody. <laughs> it is becoming so clearer and clearer and clearer to everyone <laughs> that you have a superpower. Well, do you know what I'm laughing like? By now, there are people who feel that your strength will fail you. <laughs> There are people who think that by now, as we are speaking, as we are hearing me right now, that your strength must have failed you, that your strength must have been gone, that everything about you must have been over, destroyed, and all of that. <laughs> but the Bible says, even when we are broken, we are not destroyed. <laughs> we are not destroyed. Glory to Jesus. Because the Lord will bear us up in his hands, and we will not dash our foot on the stone. Glory to Jesus. When they throw us under the bus, they are like, let the bus crush us. When they throw us into the water, they are like, let the water drown them. When they throw us into the fire, they are like, let the fire consume them. When they throw us into the lions, then they are like, let the lion eat all of us. You see, when you look at how many people who have experienced a lion's death situation, just like Daniel, how many of us that have experienced that, that situation, the strength of God had us. That is the superpower. The strength of God had us in the midst of the lions that were so hungry, willing to eat anything eatable. They saw us and they became silent. <laughs> when they throw inside the fire, they are like, oh, the fire will swallow them up. But the Bible says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the fire could not swallow them. And the fourth man showed up. That is the superpower that was in them. Glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. It is becoming to be, it is becoming so clearer before the face of men, before the faces of everyone that you that is speak that I'm speaking to right now, you have a superpower, and God is your superpower. Hallelujah. God is your superpower. It is your superman. There are many people who thought that your strength by now must have failed. There are many people. I can say vividly that was some time ago because I was not uh, on, on YouTube on time. I came to YouTube like three to four years ago now. You know, uh, though this is how I normally pray, this is how I speak even before I came online and all of that. When I came online, there are people who really don't know me. They are like, where did she come from? Ah, this one, she's going to get tired of praying like this. One day she's going to say, ah, she's not praying again. Ah, this prayer is too much. I sat down and I tell the Lord, you are the one that gives strength. God is my superpower. When my fire is going down, God will fire it up. <laughs> God will feel the attack, you know. God will feel the attack. And I told myself, like, until God said, if I just said, I don't shout again enough. Let somebody else come and do the shouting. That is when I would step aside and say, okay, do the shouting while I do the teaching, you know. <laughs> that time will come, maybe when I get too old, I cannot shout. Yeah, yeah, maybe I will just do the teaching. And somebody else that is young, the God is raising people for himself from all generations, in all generations. That person will do the shouting. The shouting must be done. That is the truth. The Bible said that right from the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered a valley and the valley take it by force. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus, you know, that process have really made me like, there was even a time I'm like, when I was seeing the negativity, I was like, ah, how will I do this? How will I be able to continue praying like this? Like almost every day, almost every day, almost every day, even if it is not every day, almost every day. I'm like, and the Lord said, I am your strength, you know, God has been your strength child of God. The superpower that is in you is Christ. And there is nothing they can, they cannot remove God from your life. They cannot remove God from your life. When you look at life of Job, they remove a lot of things from the life of, of Job. But they could not remove God from the life of Job. When you look at the life of Joseph, a lot of things were removed from the life of Joseph. But they could not remove God from his life. You understand? So 
God is your superpower and nothing can remove God from your life. You look at the life of, of the apostles, disciples and all of that. A lot of things were removed from their life. Even when Jesus was on this earth, the Bible says he, he became so troubled. You know, he was troubled even at the table. He was troubled and he had to speak out and this. He, the Bible says he was troubled. He went to pray. He did that. He said, ah, God, if this, take this cup away from me if it's possible. He was troubled. They took away his, his peace. They took away his peace, the wicked word. They took the peace away. But they took the peace away, but they could not take his father away from him. Did you understand? That is the superpower that you carry. It is beginning to get clearer. Somebody's eyes is open so widely now. Seeing that God is the strength. The Bible said, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. They shall run and they will not faint. Child of God, I pray for you. You will not faint in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.